day nine, July 1st, 2000, camped at Cooper Creek across from the Kenai River. We called it a recon day. Um, we fished the Kenai for about an hour, didn't catch anything. Uh, so I also took a look at the Russian River confluence with the Kenai. The site has a lot fewer mosquitoes than the Little Sioux. Lots of people in hog lines. Uh, they call it combat fishing. I call it a hog line from being up here, uh, trying to catch reds that were running. Talk to Betty tonight. Yeah, I have to remember to pick up salmon from the Booth brothers who we fished with um, when we start to turn back around and head up the corner. We had a, a, a lot of fun. That was a neat campsite to be at. I saw a lot of people there. Uh, well, nobody was getting guided, although we did see, uh, I kid you not, saw a young lady solo being guided on the Kenai and she was talking on her cell phone. I was in earshot of the guide and I said, is she actually fishing? And he laughed and said, she's a client. She spent more time talking on that phone and taking pictures than she has had a line in the water. And, uh, but hey, you're there, you're enjoying it. Uh, and, and everybody has a different way of enjoying Alaska. And as long as you enjoy it, that's, uh, that's what's most important. One more day to go, I think. Two, maybe two more, three more days to go. Then we're out of here. And this becomes my primary reason for going to Whittier, Alaska. And that is the hike from Whittier up to the Portage Pass so that we can see the Portage Glacier. The Portage Glacier is no longer visible from the roadside. It was 23 years ago when I was first here, but now you have to hike to this pass in order to see it. It's a 800 foot elevation climb from sea level to, to 800 feet. One mile to the pass, two miles to the glacier. We don't go all the way to the glacier. In high enough and far enough in to see the glacier. And once we make this little slot right here in the trail, uh, I, this is BK on the, on the right, we clear the pass and you have access to the Portage Glacier. We did not hike all the way into the glacier to get on the glacier. I'm not sure what yeah. that would take. There's we weren't wind. prepared to do that, but we did want to get close enough so that we could see it. While we're up here, a little bit later in the video, we're going to meet a young lady. She's a sailor with Portage the glacier. Australian Navy, and she's right, on leave right now, right now, taking a trip around the world. She's uh, in Alaska. This is one of the hikes that she wanted to do. And then as we talk with her, she's actually heading to Iceland as well and a couple other places around the globe uh, just to get some downtime uh, before she goes back to service with the Australian Navy. Smile. <laughs> Love it. You want a hold of you? Yeah, that would be yeah, great. Please. Yeah, that would be great. <clears throat> <laughs> I'm take a bunch of them at a time. All right. All right thank you. Thank you. <laughs> that is GB out there in the distance. His 24 year old legs got him up and back a lot faster than my 61 year old legs. Did you drive in or did you come in on a cruise? Oh, I drove in. You drove in? Okay. Yeah, yeah we did too. Yeah, so I did um, the Explorer Glacier, the Blue Ice Trail Walk, Warren Glacier, and now this one. This one? Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Now, did you do it yourself or did you get a... I did it myself. Did you myself? Good. Yeah. Yeah, yeah we've been fishing from Anchorage around to Homer and back to here again. Decided to come in here, drove in. I'm in the Navy and I've never had a fish yet, so I'm just, just not going to be. You've seen a lot of water though. <laughs> <laughs>
was this vacation for you, or? Yeah, I have too much leave, so I'm obviously taking the leave. You gotta take the leave, yeah. Just doing six weeks, so Alaska, Canada, America, Iceland, and Greenland. Really? That's that's awesome. Literally remortgaging my house to do it. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Okay. And now, why Greenland? Just because it's there? Well, they say that Greenland is ice. Right. Iceland is green. Yeah. And I need to prove it. Oh, you want to see if it's. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so I've heard the same thing. Yeah. I'm, there's something about ice and glaciers and fjords that yeah. interest me. Yeah. So, tomorrow, I'm a helicopter flight landing on the glacier. Oh, <laughs> you'll love this. I did that last year. It's, yeah. It's cool. And I'm doing the. Like, there's that kind of dune buggy thing in Canada okay. and you go zooming across it and then you get to walk on it yeah. and I'm staying in an igloo on the glacier in Lake Freeland. You're doing it right wow. there. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Well, I'm not coming up. I mean, after 35 hours of travel to get here, I'm not coming back for We're soon. not doing it. Yeah. 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 You can still hear the shipyard up here. <laughs> And this is the Portage Glacier, the view from the Portage Pass above Whittier. Heading back out to Whittier. You can actually hear the construction or the, the shipyard from the Glacier pa uh, Portage Pass. And this is a corner of Prince William Sound from the Portage Pass. We're gonna head back down to the trucks, get the cars and go see some spawned out salmon up at Emerald Cove. This is Emerald Cove and those are all humpies or pinks that are spawned out. All salmon swimming upstream, finished spawning out. Now they're dying. Circle of light. <clears throat> Better picture though, because it's closer. Humpies, pinks, and finish that cycle, they're spawned out. We'll float back down into Emerald Bay, and uh, the gulls and ravens and crows will have them for dinner. And bears, there are bears down in here at the time of time. And little kids and families are here just grabbing them by their hands just for the fun of it. They swim through their legs and grab them. Below us here is the Sterling Highway. There's an ever jump. Slow me back. Okay. 
things here because of space. Sorry. This guy was close on this after I already shot it. I'm sure Betty doesn't appreciate me saying that if she's watching this right now, but someday our Mega Bear Lines guy. 